Hey guys, good morning. Uh, today I'm working on this 1991 uh, LS Lexus 400. I'm surprised it's staying still running, uh, but it's a Toyota. You know, Toyotas, they last forever. But let me show you what I'm doing. Uh, this is a 1991 LS 400, and it's got the uh, V6 engine. So today what I'm doing is uh, I'm actually doing a oil leak. I'm trying to fix this oil leak right here. As you can see, uh, this front seal is leaking pretty bad. And it's been leaking for a while. But in order to do this job, in order to do this job, you have to remove, you have to remove the um, alternator on the book, it says to remove the uh, power steering, but I didn't have to remove the power steering pump. All I did is um, remove the alternator, and it also says to remove the compressor, but I didn't have to remove the compressor. I just re removed these two bolts right here, and uh, this nut right here. This, uh, this idle pulley right here, this is for the fan. It sits right here, like this. It sits, it sits like that in here. So all you gotta do is uh, undo the two bolts from the compressor and the nut, and this piece will come off, and that'll give you enough room. And that will give you enough room uh, to get access to the uh, to your timing belt. Another thing you have to remove, you have to remove these covers right here, like this one right here. You have to remove this cover. And then you have to remove uh, the covers right here for the valve cover for your spark plugs. Um, on the book, it says about 5.2 hours of work, but I think it's taking me a little longer. So, I just want to show you the process, you know. Uh, that way you know what you're dealing with. Uh, first thing I had to do, I had to remove the uh, the fan, fan shroud, and the radiator. That way you make enough room to remove all these components and the pulley. And uh, I never worked on this car before. Uh, I didn't even know they had the distributor right here on the camshafts. This is kind of crazy. I've never seen this before. I mean, I usually, I normally work on newer vehicles, but I'm doing this uh, job for a friend. And um, this is where I'm at right now. Um, before you remove your belt, you have to be to top dead center. So your marks have to be on this position right here. Uh, this is for the right bank. And for the left bank, it's gonna be over here. Uh, and then your, your key weight has to be like on the one o'clock position. And I think there's a mark down here. Uh, there's a mark right here. I can't really tell. There should be another mark somewhere in here, but I can't really tell because this engine is caked up with a lot of oil. It's been leaking oil for a while and it's got a lot of mud. You see that? So what I'm gonna do right now, uh, that way I can show you clearly where the uh, timing marks are. Um, we're gonna do, uh, we were just gonna do the seal, but then we noticed that the uh, belt is dry rotted. So who knows when was the last time this car was serviced. But I have here my kit. I got my oil, my engine, a crankshaft seal right here. Uh, this is what we're gonna install in, in it. And this is the part number, this is a national seal. It's made in Japan. And uh, it's, it's the 710615. And we're gonna do a new timing bell with the water pump. Uh, it's better if you do 
your timing bell with the water pump in it. So let me give you some part numbers for this. Uh, I got it from O'Reilly's. This is the uh, timing timing bell with the water pump kit, and the part number is two zero three nine one K. And uh, but let me go ahead and uh, clean this up. I'm gonna uh, on the book it says uh, to remove to remove these um, distributors, remove the plugs the distributor and uh, the distributor cap and the distributor inside. I really don't want to mess with this. Um, I don't want to mess with it, uh, but uh, I think I'm gonna have to. I'm gonna see if I can get away with just uh, removing these plugs and putting the bell. But I know once I release the uh, tensioner, uh, the uh, camshafts are gonna spring back so they're gonna move and then you have to have a special tool uh, to line them up again I do not have the special tool so I'm gonna see I'm gonna try to I, I'm gonna try to work this out somehow but uh, for now uh, I'm gonna pause you here and I'm gonna clean this mess and I'm gonna remove the timing belt like I said I'm gonna try not to remove this even though the book calls for uh, um, removing this uh, distributor and distributor cap and the distributor so uh, let's see how it goes let me uh, go ahead and start cleaning this mess and I'll come back to you and show you uh, the timing marks where the timing marks are supposed to go right now I'm a top dead center mm, let me see my pulley I had a hard time trying to get this pulley off Man, see my keyway is like that. There's supposed to be uh, a plastic here. The plastic was missing, and this mark supposed to be uh, lined up with the uh, mark on the plastic, and it should be at uh, zero degrees. Um, the plastic was missing right here, so I'm not quite sure. But I know once this mark is facing up and these marks are facing each other, that means you are top dead center. So let me clean it up. I'll come back to you. I um, think I'm going to pressure wash this mess. Uh, hopefully I get it all cleaned up. Uh, I'll be back. All right, guys. So I finished cleaning up uh, the engine, the front of the engine. It was pretty caked up. I couldn't see any timing marks. Uh, you can see on better right here. See, this one has a notch right here. I painted it. It was uh, yellow, but I painted it white. And uh, this is where our timing mark is going to go. And this is where we need to be lining up. And on this side, this is our timing mark right here. And we're going to be lining up with this. At the uh, crankshaft, uh, this dot right here, I painted blue. The way you can see it. It's gonna be lining up with this notch right here. And this mark right here, this dot right here, this is gonna be lining up with our timing bell. Let's see. Timing bell has three marks. Crank right here. So the crank. So this is how it's gonna line up. this mark with this line and this two uh, this is gonna be right and this is gonna be left so now that everything is clean now that everything is clean I'm able to see my marks so let me sit let me set the um, uh, let me do the idle the uh, tensioner and I'm gonna install the um, this gear, and I'm gonna install the belt. I only have one hand; I don't have no help. Uh, when you're working on this car, just be careful. This uh, cars, this is pretty old, and uh, I was trying to unplug the uh, coil, and uh, this is pretty brittle, so he ended up breaking off. I'm gonna see. There's a way to fix this. I don't know if I'm gonna be able to get a pigtail. 
and then um, I usually don't work on cars that are this old but uh, I'm um, helping this guy today and uh, I'm halfway done so I better finish it so let me pause you for a minute I'm gonna put this back on and I'm gonna put all the idlers and I, I, I'll be back I'll be right back with you okay I pretty much got my um, timing marks I got my belt on I got my tensioner right here I haven't released the pressure I haven't released the pressure this is my tensioner I still got a little bit of slack in here and the idler and I got this gear installed uh, as you can see uh, my uh, crankshaft mark on the belt is lining out with this dot and I, I didn't even have to use the special tools everything just came in together as it should uh, I didn't have any problems installing this timing belt and it's not the it's not that hard. I thought it was gonna be a bigger deal, but uh, I got my tensioner installed. Uh, I'm about to release the pin uh, to make sure uh, make sure that uh, I'm on the uh, right marks. I forgot to mention earlier. Uh, I was trying to remove this uh, seal. This is the main reason why I'm doing this timing chain is because uh, this uh, front seal was leaking. And it was leaking pretty bad. It was leaking pretty bad. And, um, well, might as well just go ahead and replace the timing belt. Uh, I think it was time. It was time to replace it. So, this is why I'm doing this job. I clean up the engine bay. I got rid of all the, uh, I got rid of all the, uh, oil. Uh, on the book, like I was saying, it says to remove this power steering pump, but it's not necessary. Uh, it also tells you to remove this, um, um, rotors, rotor cap and rotors, uh, but I didn't have to move them to, to do the, uh, timing bell. As you can see, I'm lined up with the marks. All I did is, uh, unplug this, all of these, and I left them in the same, uh, spot. I didn't pull them all the way out. Just, uh, pop them off and put the belt and put them back in and in into their place. Um... Uh, you have to remove the coil and the crankshaft position sensor you have to remove it in order to get over here um to undo these uh bolts right here uh, you have to remove your battery uh, there's a lot of things that you have to remove on this vehicle uh, it takes uh takes quite a bit of time you just got to be patient so um right that on time right now i'm gonna go ahead and release the uh <sighs> there you go um pressure and we should be fine all i gotta do is uh put everything back together <sighs> and as you can see everything just lines up correctly you can see on this one my marks lined up perfectly so I'm on time right there uh, I don't know if I need to show you the process of putting this back on but that's pretty much it I'm gonna start putting everything back on and uh, I'm gonna start the car for you guys uh, okay so I'll be right back so I'm pretty much done with this um, 1991 Lexus LS 400 it's got the 4.0 and uh, uh, this car um, it's got a few miles in it and it was leaking a lot of oil and I made a mistake over here when I was pulling this um, this coil right here I tried to unclip the, uh, the plug and the plug just came apart so I had to buy another pigtail. Uh, this is the pigtail right here. Uh, the connector S1415 and that'll fit your um, your coil. So just be careful when you're working on a car H that is H 
around this age because uh, everything and all all the plastics are brittle and most likely they're gonna break so i got my belt on i got my hoses fan radiator i'm about to start this thing um i got some coolant in it i need to bleed it out um, i'm not quite sure what the bleeding process on this car is it looks like it has a uh, a bleeder over here so but uh, I got this tool right here and uh, uh, this tool will help you bleed out any any system um, so let's go ahead and get started I hooked up a um, jump box because my battery is kind of low so let's go ahead and try it out uh, this car had no issues, no timing issues, no cooling issues. The only problem was that the um, front crankshaft seal was leaking. And uh, it was leaking and that's why I had to do the timing belt. Uh, here's the crankshaft seal. I had to drill a hole uh, and uh, I pull it off. I drill a hole and pull it off, pull it off with one of those, uh, I don't know what they call them. And then I drop the seal, I drop the seal with this, uh, slowly but surely. Um, so I'm just gonna let it run, let it bleed out. Uh, make sure that there's no water leaks and no oil leaks. Uh, this car was leaking pretty bad. As you can see, uh, this is a very good tool, guys. Uh, if you can put your hands on this right here, um, it'll be good because this will help you bleed out all the air from the cooling system. And uh, some of these vehicles are really hard to bleed out, like the uh, Dodge or Chrysler. Uh, they're kind of hard to bleed out. So, having this tool, having this tool is plus. Put some more coolant in it. And, uh, well, this is it for now, guys. Let me see, let me see at the bottom. <sighs> from here really bad. They, all of this was taped up with oil and I got everything uh, cleaned up. Uh, so I'm gonna let it run for a little bit. Make sure the uh, thermostat is open. Uh, thermostat opens up and I uh, wanna make sure it doesn't leak any oil. So, so this is it for now. Let me let, it, let, me let it warm up and uh, I'll keep shooting some more. As you can see, this car has been leaking a lot of oil. Look at all this. It's everywhere. It's all everywhere. So, but hopefully, that was the main reason. I'm hoping that was the main reason. Oh, shit. Where is that? Houston, we have a problem. 